guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and in today's video I'm going to be tackling and organizing my closet. It needs to be decluttered, it needs to be organized, it is a hot mess and it's driving me insane. So today I will be tackling my closet. Now if you follow me on Instagram then you already know that I am obsessed with KonMari. I have been binge watching her series on Netflix. If you guys are not familiar with her or her show, basically she goes into people's homes and she helps them declutter and organize. She helps them purge out their house and basically get it under control. And I have been loving it because it has gotten me so motivated to get things done around in my house. And I decided to go into my bathroom and my closet. Those are the first two areas that I decided to tackle. Now I didn't follow every single step of hers. I know she has a certain way where she folds her clothes. And I don't really think I folded my clothes in that certain way that she folds her clothes, like her pants. But I did follow her steps as far as pulling everything out of that certain area you are trying to work on and get organized. I pulled everything out of my closet and then I purged. I got rid of things that I don't need or things that I was just holding on for for no reason that I haven't worn for years. So I thought I would take you guys along with me so maybe I can motivate one of you guys to get something done around in your house because we all need that extra motivation. So I will be having two more videos KonMari style. I'm going to be doing my bathroom and then I also will be doing my dresser drawers and also my kids drawers. So when I do that, I will follow her method on how she folds clothes. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those future videos that I do plan on uploading. Those will be uploaded very soon. So now let's just jump right in to my closet declutter KonMari style. All right, guys, I'm going to keep it real and I'm going to show you guys how my closet is looking, how scary it is. And yes, I know it looks horrible. It's very unorganized. It's very messy. And I cannot believe I even let it get to this point or let it stay like this for so long. I've been wanting to clean out and declutter my closet for a while. I've just haven't had the energy. And to be honest, I've also been a little lazy on wanting to pull everything out because I knew it was going to take a really long time. But honestly, it was time to tackle this. It was driving me insane and I just couldn't handle it anymore. So this is the current state on how my closet is looking for the before. All right, so for the first step I'm going to do is just pulling out all of the clothes and I'm actually gonna go section by section. So I'm not going to pull everything out like on top of the shelves and everything like that. I am going to pull out all of my clothes first. I'm gonna go through all my clothes and see what I don't wear or what I can donate or just need to toss out. I did go through my closet not too long ago, so I really didn't have much that I got rid of, but I did get rid of a few things. So I'm gonna go through all of my clothes and just reorganize everything and make sure that I donate things that I don't need anymore because I tend to hold on to a lot of things that I honestly haven't worn in years. So so that is what I'm doing right now. I'm just going through everything and then I'm just going to organize my clothes like long sleeve, short sleeve, tank tops, stuff like that. And I also do apologize about the first half of the clip where the sun and the light was just horrible. I do film from my phone. Sometimes the lighting gets out of control and I don't know or I don't realize it. So I do apologize about that first clip with the lighting. <laughs> So now that I am done going through all of my clothes, I'm now going to just place them back in the closet nice and neatly. And then I decided to fold my pants instead of hanging them up. I used to always hang them up. So decided to give this a try, fold my pants and then put them on the shelf. Don't know if I will end up leaving them like that, but for now that is how I am going to store my pants. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta know that these things fall through. I'm still tired, I can't have 
And now that I'm done with all of my clothes, I'm now going to pull out all of my husband's clothes. Now, I'm not going to get rid of anything because I don't know what he wants to keep and what he wants to get rid of, but I am going to organize all of his clothes because they were all mixed up. So there was like summer clothes mixed in with winter clothes. So I'm just going to go through his clothes, organize everything, and then if it needs to be fixed on the hanger, I will do that as well. <laughs> So now I'm going to go through all of my husband's pants and organize them. So he has way too many work pants and like jeans to really put on the shelf. So I decided to leave his hanging, but I did take them off the hangers and then rehang them just because they were kind of just thrown on the hanger, very unorganized. So I'm just going to go through all his pants and make sure they are folded nicely. Time to go through my vanity. I have so much makeup in my vanity that I never use that's just taken up space and probably expired. And then I also have Ipsy, so I'm always receiving makeup in my Ipsy bag. So I decided to go through my vanity and just get rid of anything that I really don't use or I don't like or that may be too old. So that is what I'm doing now. I'm going to go through all my drawers and make sure that I only keep the items that I truly think that I will use and really like. So now I'm going to go through these drawers and just refold and organize and get rid of anything that I don't wear in these drawers. I keep all of my workout gear in here. So I have my workout pants, leggings, shorts, sports bras, tank tops, shirts, stuff like that. So anything that's to do with working out, I keep in these drawers. So I'm now just going to refold everything. And then there was a few things that I decided to get rid of that I don't like.
move on to the shelves. So I'm literally going to pull everything down from my shelf first and go through everything and get rid of anything that I don't like, don't use, or just don't need. And I'm going to store it in these bins. I bought all my bins from Dollar Tree. There's a ton of different bins you can purchase from Dollar Tree, different sizes, different colors. So if you're looking to organize your home on a budget, definitely check out your local Dollar Tree. They have so many different options. And now that I'm done with my side, I'm now going to move on to my husband's side, which was 10 times worse than mine. I'm going to pull everything down from his shelf, go through anything that I think he may not need and just toss out and then just start organizing the same way I organized my side. I also bought him some bins to organize all of his items. And so now we're going to move on to the shoes. The same thing. I'm literally going to pull all the shoes out and also pull out the shoe rack so I can vacuum up the floor and make sure everything is picked up from the floor and nice and clean. And again, I did not get rid of any of my husband's shoes or my shoes just because for my husband, don't know what shoes he wants to keep and what he wants to get rid of. And as far as my shoes, I did not get rid of any just because I did just go through my closet about two months ago and I got rid of a ton of shoes. So everything that was left were shoes that I love and wear a lot. So the shoes did not get rid of anything, but I did want to reorganize it and then vacuum up the floors. <laughs> Right, guys so this is the end result of how my closet is looking it looks so much better than the before so much more organized yes it may not look perfect but it definitely looks so much better than before i can actually walk through my closet and find things i'm not falling over shoes and belts and hangers and everything that was thrown on the floor and the shelves look so much better now that i have bins to actually store and organize things and things are not just thrown up there we can never find anything because we never really have bins to organize everything so i definitely like the way it turned out and i'm happy that I did this because it makes me feel so much better to walk into a closet where I could actually find things. So that is going to end my closet declutter and organizing Conmori style. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me while I tackled my closet. Now, does my closet look completely perfect? No, but it definitely looks so much better than what it was before. I can actually walk into my closet without falling over shoes and belts and everything else that was pretty much 
thrown on the floor. So I'm so glad that I decided to tackle my closet, although it took me over an hour to do that, but it was totally worth the end results. And all those organizing bins that you saw me using was all purchased from Dollar Tree, so super affordable to get my closet nice and clean. I hope you guys found this video motivational. If you guys decide to declutter or clean out your home, whether it's a closet, bathroom, kids room, whatever it may be, leave it in the comments down below so I can go check it out and watch it. I love watching these types of videos to get myself up and motivated. So just let me know if you guys decide to do this video as well. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to give my video a thumbs up. It definitely helps out me and my channel. And if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Join me and my YouTube family. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. It would mean so much to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.